So Wes claps back at Megan and yet again these two are going back and forth and it's just tiring at this point. Hey guys, it's Murad Murali. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, click that button. Follow me on my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali. It's just one click and let's get into this video. Now, if you guys aren't aware, Megan, you know, again, is acting a bit erratic, I would say. I didn't really expect this from her, but in the last couple of months, she really has been just saying a lot of outlandish stuff and it has actually been quite unnecessary. But what she did recently reveal about where is it that um, he was the bad person to be with, although he had a great D, obviously we all know what that means, and she was going at length, and it was a bit unnecessary, nobody saw it coming, but Wes has now clapped back, and he has expressed that he doesn't give a flying monkeys about her, and he really has had enough. He actually kind of just breaks it down and just says, um, this comes off to Megan, it told a crowd of people that she was impressed with Wes because he had a good D, but hates him now. And speaking exclusively to the son, Wes then said, I absolutely do not give a flying monkeys that she's making comments about me all the time. I take no notice. Remember, I am 21 and I have been the mature one and not said anything. I could say numerous things that would try and take a dig at her, but I'm not that person. I'm here to enjoy my life and be prosperous in my career and find someone who is absolutely incredible and that is what I have done. Speaking to Cherry Healy during a Q&A at Ann Summers, this is what Megan said. Before Love Island, I used to date guys with long hair that looked like they hadn't washed for a few days. Okay, that's a bit weird. And then I got with a six pack Adonis who was so gorgeous from every angle on that D. I've never seen one like that. As much as I hate him now, that was such a good D. So, you know, I don't know why Megan keeps talking about him. Like, the relationship is over, done with. I feel like all it does is just create a little bit of relevance for these two, but at the end of the day, like, why? Like, I don't understand both of you and your own relationships. And obviously, Wes is referring to Arabella in terms of the one that, you know, he's found. And I'm like, you know, calm down, simmer down, only because you've literally just met her. It's been a month or two. These two now are officially moving in together, um, both Arabella and Wes. They announced it yesterday as well. I think, again, they're moving way too fast. I think when you're in the public eye, you feel like you want to do certain things to, you know, make people feel like you like them a lot. And I feel like moving in together, it, this ring light isn't, it isn't even on. Wow. Like, I even need it, but still. Like, moving in together, I just feel like it's way too fast, way too much. But at the same time, I do agree with him. He has been the mature one in this Wes and Megan stuff. He hasn't really been outlandishly saying stuff to her out, out in the press or talking about it. Um, and I feel like Megan is doing it to create some relevance. But I feel like it's just really... It's damaging your credibility as an individual, as a person. And I feel like you shouldn't do it and just leave it and let it go. And just, I don't know why you keep bringing it up. This whole triangle between Megan, not even triangle shower, just Megan and Wes back and forth. And this whole stuff between Josh and um, Theo. Like these two certain, like they just go back and forth, non damn stop. And I get it, it keeps your names in our mouths, but for how long? It just becomes tiring at this point. But yeah, I thought I'd let you know about this small little update. These two have been clapping back at each other via the articles. They've been, you know, talking about it and via Q and A's and they simply, it's just not gonna end. And Arabella seems to be in the middle of it and let's see if she gets tired because Megan is quite young and you know, Wes well, is only 21 and my God, um, Arabella is touching 30. So I don't understand how long she's gonna last in this, but we'll see how it goes. Somebody, I can't believe they're moving in together. Somebody who's 30 or 21 are gonna move in together. How are they gonna make that work? I don't understand. It's like they're in some fantasy world. I don't know, well, I hope the best for them. Follow me on my Instagram, Mirage and Subscribe, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.